welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing a video that is a question and answer video with me and Stassi. So I went to social media on our Facebook page and our Instagram and I asked you guys, what would you like to know about me and Stassi? It could be something about Stassi, about my other pets, or something about me personally. Anything was open as long as, you know, it was reasonable and it, and it was. All of the questions were very, very good. And so we're here to answer all of your questions. So go grab a coffee because you know this is not gonna be short. I can't do anything short. I like to talk. <laughs> all right, so gra go grab a coffee or an iced tea or whatever your favorite drink is and we will wait right here. Right, Stassi? Welcome back. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna try and keep these as short answers as possible, um, but being the Italian that girl that I am, I love to talk, and so I'm not gonna promise that they're gonna be real short, but I will try my best. <laughs> okay, so I wrote them all down so that I can, um, you know, I can't remember all of them, so let's get started. How did you decide on Stasi's name? Stasi's name, came from one of my favorite shows that I watch, which is called Vanderpump Rules. And there's a girl on there named Stassi, and I love the name ever since I heard it, so that is where her name came from. Next question is, will you ever do videos featuring, featuring your chihuahuas? Probably not. Uh, my chihuahuas are very old. Um, Chi Chi is 15 and Paris is 12 and a half, I believe. And um, they're just old, set in their ways, and no, I probably won't do any videos featuring Chi Chi in Paris. But you may see them like in Christmas videos or vlogs and things like that. What other breeds have you owned in your adult life? Okay, so the very first dog that I owned in my adult life was a mixed breed named Callie. She lived to be 18 years old, and she was about a 50 pound dog, and she's like a blonde, kind of looked like a, um, her, actually her mom was a Border Collie, but she didn't look like a Border Collie. She looked more like a, a, a kind of a shrunk down version of a yellow lab with a pointier nose. Um, then we had a, let's see, Chi Chi was next, which she is 15 now, and Paris is 12, those are the two Chihuahuas. Then I had a little long coat Chihuahua named Tia, and she passed away um, fairly young. She was very tiny, she was only two pounds, or two and a half pounds, and uh, they, the vet thinks that she had a heart attack. Um, so sweet, she was so sweet. And then I had my Yorkie, which is Bristol. And you guys know the story about Bristol. She had uh, sub -A -lux, uh, AA subluxation, which is an abnormal space between C1 and C2 of her neck. And so she passed away young as well. Um, I've also had three other Cavaliers in the past, and I have Harper the Cavalier and Stasi the Shizu. So those are all of the pets that I have had in my adult life. Can you suggest more products to keep my, my dog's face from getting gunky? All of the products that I have in my videos would be what I would suggest. So look up the daily morning routine as far as what I do to keep Stasi's face from getting gonky, and that is what I would suggest at this time. You know, I'm known to change things up, but at this time, I am still doing what I do in my normal daily routine, which is using the Clarity No Rinse Face Wash, um, the eye drops, and... Um, just everything that I you know, recommended and do on that daily morning routine. So look that up. The next one is, what is the funniest thing Stasi has done to make the whole family laugh? And I would, you know, I was thinking about that when I saw the, 
the um, question. And I think the funniest thing that she does is when she gets the zoomies. So she will, like every now and then, probably once a day, she'll get the zoomies where she just takes off running and just like runs in circles and circles and circles and back and forth and back and forth. And it is hilarious because it's like, she, you know, she's normally such a calm, chill dog, but then all of a sudden she gets these zoomies and it, and it does make us laugh. Okay, next question is, is Stassi or Harper harder to maintain? Definitely Stassi. So Harper, you know, I do have to brush her ears, comb out her ears every day, and Harper has little tear staining issues. So that, you know, is um, a challenge for me with her, but Stassi's definitely harder because of this double coat and you know because of top top knots and everything um i would definitely say harp um stassi is definitely the harder to maintain of the two all right um how would you handle someone at the dog park picking up your dog without permission i probably would go nuts on them because i think that is very rude i also think that when someone just comes up to any dog and just wants to immediately go to pet them i think that is rude as well i think you know when i see dogs you know i'm a huge dog dog lover and i always ask permission i always say do you mind if i pet your dog or can i pet her can i pet him um it's just the nice thing to do so if someone goes to you know immediately put their you know hands on your dog i probably would just scoop the dog up and walk away or either tell him something i don't know i've never come across that situation i just know that i wouldn't like that situation because i'm real funny about that like get away from my dog you know that's fine if you want to come over and pet her you know but ask permission first i think that is the the nicest thing um to do all right how do you handle excited urination Fortunately, I don't have that problem. Um, I did have it one time with Harper, just for a very short time, and it was only when other people came over um, to visit, and then she would get excited and kind of pee pee, you know, excitedly. But that was very short lived. It only happened a few times, and I know that they say to just kind of ignore it. Um, don't really pay a lot of attention to the dog and when someone comes in kind of tell them don't reach down She does excite, you know, she does pee pee when she gets excited. Just let her get used to you first So that's what I would do if I had that situation Does any of your pets have separation anxiety and how do you handle it? Yes, Harper does have separation anxiety um, it's not real bad where she gets destructive or she like pulls out her own hair, things like that, thank God. But what she does is she will, if we leave the room or if we go outside to, you know, go get something in the car or just go outside for whatever, she will stand by the back door and bark and bark and bark and bark. How do I handle it? I don't know. I, I don't really know what to do in that situation. Um, sh this is just recently getting a more of a problem. So if you guys have any suggestions on, you know, what you would do for that situation, please feel free to leave it in the comments below because I would love to hear it. Okay, what is your hair and makeup routine? All right, first of all, I love makeup. I have always loved makeup. I have always been into makeup ever since I was very young. I can remember my mom saying, go wash your face, you look like a clown, <laughs> like when I was 10. So, you know, I've always loved makeup. I do watch a couple of YouTubers. My favorite YouTube makeup guru is Jacqueline Hill. If any of you girls love makeup, look up Jacqueline Hill. I'm sure if you love makeup, you'll already know who she is. She is absolutely wonderful. I love her, I love her videos, and I love makeup. In fact, I will put in a picture of my makeup collection right here.
So as you can see, I have quite the collection and I just, I, I love it, what can I say? As far as my hair, um, I will let you in on a secret. I do have hair extensions. So my hair is actually this length. It's actually um, a little bit longer than the actual extension. So my hair is long, um, but it's not as thick as what I would like it. So I got extensions probably about two years ago. I absolutely love them. They are very pricey. They are um, a high quality human hair. Um, they are the individual locks, so I don't have fusion extensions. Mine are individual locks. I have 150 strands of extensions mixed in with my hair, and the way that she puts them in is with these little locks that you um, put, she puts a piece of my hair and the extension, and then she puts the little lock and she crimps it. And then every two months I go to have that little lock opened up and then slid back to my scalp and then she crimps it back and that's called lifted. So every two months I go to have my extensions lifted because as your hair grows out, so does the extension. So you want to make sure, you know, you can't have your extension locked down here. It has to be close to your head. So uh, that is important maintenance when it comes to extensions that when you have this system, it is a more expensive system than the Fusion, um, but I didn't want the Fusion because I didn't want it to damage my own hair. So I just got new extensions about two or three months ago, and when she took them out, my hair was just as long. It just wasn't as thick. So I like to um, keep them in for the volume and also because they are, besides the price and the fact that you have to go every two months to get them lifted, they are very low maintenance. Like my hair really is a mess this morning. I just got up, I brushed it, that's all I do. Um, when I go out, I curl it, but I try not to put too much heat products on it. And they're really, really low maintenance and I absolutely love them. And um, as far as products, I love the Wella Luxe Oil. And I use a couple of different shampoos. I go back and forth. I use a Loxy um, conditioner. I also use the Luxe Keratin Restore conditioner and the um, Luxe Oil shampoo and another um, shampoo by Redken called All Soft. So those are the different products that I use on my hair. But I really, you know, don't do really much other, you know, much to it other than, um, you know, dealing with the extensions and getting them lifted. All right, so let's see. Um, I had another question. Do you find Stasi's coat more time consuming than Harper or your Yorkie that passed away? I did um, answer that question about Stasi's is definitely more time consuming, but as far as between the Shih Tzu and the Yorkie, still the Shih Tzu is more time consuming. Their coat is more cottony, where a Yorkie's coat is more silky, so her coat definitely knots more than um, my Yorkie's did. Okay, how do you find time to care for so many pets, and do you have help? Oh my goodness. Okay, so first of all, the cats, that we have, that is my husband's duty. So I don't do anything with the cats. He does the litter boxes and feeds them and does all that. Um, my son, who is 17 years old, does help me with the dogs. And you know he will help um, just do little things like pick up the potty pads, change the water bottles, um, things like that. Um, the Chihuahuas are very low maintenance. I really don't do anything with them other than bathe them about once a month. Other than that, you know, they're short coat. I don't really have to brush them, so they take no time. As far as Stasi, I get up in the mornings about 40 minutes early every morning, and that is to take care of her coat and do her top knot and her daily face uh, washings. And then at night, I will usually spend about 30 minutes 
um, brushing her out and also brushing Harper's ears out and doing you know her little care so it does take a lot of time how I just make time in my day in order to care for them the way that you know they need to be cared for but my husband and my son do help out you know with the overall picture but I do 90% of everything when it comes to the pets uh, okay how do you get Stasi to stay so still when you're doing her top knot I just started really really early with her and it's always just been um you know, pretty easy. I hate to say that because I know some of you guys are having some issues with your pets, trying to get them to um, stay still, but just keep working at it. I started doing all of her top knot and her face washings and everything when as soon as I got her at 12 weeks. And you know, she was a little antsy at first for a little bit, but she's a pretty chill dog. So as you can see, she she's chill. So she's just, she's just good. I guess I'm blessed. Um, but just keep at it because, uh, you know, I think that all dogs can learn to be still if you just give them lots of treats and lots of positive attention while you're doing those things. How did you decide on this breed? Okay, so um, as in um, my other videos, I explained that I had a Yorkie that passed away. I kept her in full show, show, full show coat as well. I did all the bows and I love doing the dog bows and the top knots. So I wanted another dog that I could still do all of the bows and the top knots and the brushing and the grooming, but I didn't want another Yorkie. Not that I didn't like the Yorkie breed, I did. I think they're beautiful, I loved it, but I just wanted wanted a breed that was a little bigger and a little more sturdier. A dog that I didn't have to really worry about picking up when company came over because I was afraid they were going to step on them. Um, your, my Yorkie Bristol was only four pounds and when people came over and when the grandkids came over, I always just, you know, same with the Chihuahuas, I picked them up into their little area because they're little, they're like three and four pounds. So, you know, they're easy to get underfoot and get stepped on and get hurt. And I didn't want another breed that I had to be so delicate with. And so that is, um, you know why I chose the Shih Tzu over another Yorkie. Okay, how did you train Stasi to not fuss over her hair bows? And um, this um, breeder says our pup rips them out sometimes. Again, I just, I don't know. Like she just was always pretty good with keeping them in. And I would say just keep putting them in. Um, and just like a baby, if they're not used to having bows in their hair from when they're babies, same thing. If you're not used to putting bows in every single day when they're puppies, I find that that is when they're going to give you the most problems because they're not used to it. And then when you put it in, they're like, what is this in my head? Let me get it out. She has always has had bows in her hair ever since her hair was long enough to put a bow in. So I think I started that about 13, 14 weeks old. So she's always had it. So she doesn't fool with them. Will you ever get another Shih Tzu? I will only get another Shih Tzu if something happens to Stasi. I won't have two at one time because if I, um, I don't, well, let's see, how can I say this? Um, I like a Shih Tzu in long coat. I think that they're so beautiful in long coat and I, there's no way that I could do this, what I do with her, with more than one. So I will only have one Shih Tzu at a time, uh, but if anything would ever happen to my precious girl, which I hope she lives a long, long, long time, I definitely, definitely will have another Shih Tzu. I am absolutely in love with this breed, and I love a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel as well. Those are my two heart breeds. Um, I always knew Cavaliers were my heart breed. They have been for many, many years, and I never knew how much I would love a Shih Tzu until I got her. So I will always have a Shih Tzu, but only one at a time. That's all I can handle. Okay. Do you have any advice for when people make judgmental comments for keeping your dog in long coat? I would just have to say that you, um, 
you know, you try and I try not to take judgmental comments um, to heart, but really, you know, it is everyone's right to have what they want in a dog, whether it is long coat or short coat, whatever makes you happy and whatever you can keep up with, then that is what you need to do. So if you want to keep your dog in long coat, then keep your dog in long coat. If you don't agree with that, keep your opinions to yourself. You know, everyone has a right to do what they want to do with their own dog. And if you are, you know, happy with grooming your dog and you're keeping her or him not free, then what is the big deal? So people need to mind their own business is really what, what I want to say. And if it doesn't affect you, then mind your own business. So that's an easy way to put that. Um, same thing goes with uh, keeping my dogs inside and not letting them go outside to potty. I have gotten a lot of comments on that on this channel and you know I try and be nice about it but you know since we're talking about this you know that I guess I'll bring this up as well. If it doesn't affect you then mind your own business and that's as nice as I can say it because you know my dogs are my dogs and they are not um, mistreated in any way they are not suffering in any way because they potty inside and don't go potty outside and I just think that some people are just mean-spirited and they're gonna have things to say whether you know whatever it is that they don't agree with they feel like it is their duty to voice their opinion and that's fine you know everyone has an opinion and I welcome everyone's opinion um, but at the same time, if it doesn't affect you, then mind your own business. That's, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> okay, um, how much money do you spend on Stasi a month? Now that is something that is really hard to say because I do, um, you know, every month we have her raw food, and this is not just Stasi, but you know, all of the dogs eat raw. So that's monthly. And then, uh, but everything else, you know, grooming supplies, vet visits, um, bows, you know, the different things that I buy, that all varies. I go through spurts to where I will, you know, as you've seen with my latest bow hauls, you know, I've done quite a few bow hauls where, uh, lately, where I've done, you know, quite a, quite a bit of shopping. But then sometimes I'll go months and months without buying any bows or any dresses or anything like that. So that's kind of hard to say um, how much I spend monthly because it varies. Okay, how many dogs have you had and how many cats have you had? So I um, added them up and all total in my adult life, we have had 10 dogs. Um, we currently have four dogs. And then all total in our life, in our adult life, we have had 12 cats. And right now we have too many cats, And but that number is six. Right now we have six cats. It's way too many. And um, anyway, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so yes, we currently have 10 pets and a rabbit. So we have 11 pets right now total. Four dogs, six cats, one rabbit, and a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, uh, what, are your, what are some of your favorite things to do with your pets? Definitely the favorite thing that I have to do with Stassi is taking her to the studio every day. I love, love, love taking her to the studio and grooming her. So that is my favorite thing to do with Stassi. Favorite thing to do with Harper is definitely cuddling with her at night. She is a huge cuddle bug and I love, love, love cuddling with Harper. Um, Chi Chi and Paris, they're just so sweet. And you know, they don't really do much anymore besides sleep and cuddle up with each other. Um, but I love patting them and just getting loves and kisses from them and they're, you know, they're just so sweet. How do your pets act on road trips? Very, very well. Um, they are very, very well behaved. We normally only bring Stasi and Harper and both of them are very well behaved on road trips. 
Do you brush her teeth? Yes, I do. Um, I, in fact, look for a video on that shortly because I just filmed a video on brushing Stassi and Harper's teeth, and so you'll have to catch that on that video. Do you clean her ears? Um, yes, I do. I clean her ears usually about once every one to two weeks. Not a whole lot um, because they stay pretty clean, but if I, you know, I'm always checking them and if I smell or see anything, I do have ear cleaner and I do clean them out. Is there a particular way to clean them after they go potty? So I don't really have that problem with um, normally. I mean, we always have some issues where we'll get a loose poop every now and then. Um, and then for that, I just take baby wipes and kind of get it off as much as I can. Every now and then I have had to do like a butt bath where I just clean the butt off because I have had that issue um, on occasion. But feeding raw, the poop is very hard, so Thank goodness it doesn't really cause much of an issue with all of this long hair because it's very, very hard. How often do you bathe Stasi? I bathe Stasi usually every like 10, um, about every 10 days, I would say. Does she eat all of her food at one sitting? And if she doesn't, do you leave it out? She does eat all of her food at one sitting, uh, but she never used to. She went through a period where she was kind of um, picky. She had gotten kind of picky and she was leaving her food like in the mornings. So no, you cannot leave the raw food out. So if they don't eat whatever you put in their bowl, then you have to throw it away. So, and you won't you don't want to leave it out like longer than 15 minutes or so because it you know it's raw meat so it'll i would think it would start to get bacteria and you know just not be good so if she doesn't eat or if the other pets do not eat their food at one sitting then i do throw it out but i do not have that problem anymore everyone just scarfs up their food and eats it with no problems how did you house break Stasi? I did do a video on, on that, and that you can look up. It's on the washable potty pads video, and it was really, really easy, and she caught on pretty quickly. And I do use the washable potty pads, and they potty inside, and all of them you know, go on the pads all the time, so that was pretty easy. Look for that video, though. I explain it more in depth in the video. Between Stassi and Harper, who is the most spoiled? Oh my goodness, that is extremely hard. They are both equally as spoiled. Out of the four dogs, they're definitely like a thousand times more spoiled than the Chihuahuas. The Chihuahuas are more independent and they love each other and they cuddle with each other. Um, Stassi and Harper definitely love and need us like 24 seven. So they are both, I would say equally as spoiled. Do you have any tips for photographing our puppy? So as you guys know, I am a photographer. I did do pet photography exclusively for about four and a half years before I switched over to newborn photography, which is what I do now. And um, I would just say you have to make lots of noises um, and that is, you know, to get them to look at the camera, just, you know, make lots of noises, unique noises. Sometimes they get immune to your noises. You have to change up your noises. I, you know, I bark like a dog. I meow like a cat. I do all kinds of crazy stuff. I really need a video that one time because it's quite hilarious. Um, but it's quite embarrassing as well. But um, just make lots of noises to get them to look at the camera. And usually that that's like my best tip. Act like a fool. <laughs> All right, Nature's Variety came out with a raw line for small breeds. Will you switch to that or stay with the raw bites? I looked that up because I wasn't aware of that. And uh, unless I am not seeing it, the only thing that I see in the small breeds is the raw boost kibble. Um, and if that is 
you know, because really what can they do to raw, it's 90, the raw bites are 95% meat. I don't think they could really make it like small breed, large breed. I think it's just, you know, this, it is what it is. Um, so no, I will not be switching to that. I am sticking with the raw bites because we absolutely love it. And I am getting awesome results with it. So we are sticking with it. How did you decide on Stasi's breeder? I'm sure that there are other show breeders closer to you in Louisiana than going all the way to New York where her breeder is from. So, actually no, there's not. There are not any good show breeders in Louisiana. We are known for backyard breeders here. Um, so I knew that I would have to go out of state for her breeder because I wanted a specific look and I wanted the temperament that I'm looking for, um, and I got it 100%. I got it in looks, temperament, um, just everything. She is the complete package of exactly what I was looking for, and there were a couple of breeders that um, were excellent. I did go to the American Shih Tzu Club, and that's where I started. And I looked up show breeders all over the place. I knew that location would not be an issue because I have a pet nanny, or I, I found a pet nanny that would go and pick up the puppy from the breeder and carry them back in the plane with them underneath the seat, in car, not in cargo, just in the regular plane with them. So I knew that I wasn't limited to a specific state. And she doesn't charge very much. It was only like $300 or $400, I think it was, which was cheaper than me flying to that state to get the puppy myself. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I highly recommend her. She is awesome. And this is all she does. This is what she does every single day. So state, you know, the particular state wasn't an issue. It was more so the particular breeders that I was looking for. And like I said, I did narrow it down to a few different breeders. And it just so happened that my breeder had exactly what I was looking for. And I couldn't be happier. She is absolutely perfect. So that is how I found and decided on my breeder. And that is it. So that was all of your questions. I know it was long, but I hope you know that if you guys are still around um, and you've listened to this whole video, thank you so much. That was awesome. Um, we really enjoyed that and I might do this again, maybe next year or something, who knows. Um, but anyway, that concludes this video. Thank you guys for all of your questions. They were awesome questions and I'm so happy that I was able to answer them all. And that's it. So if you have any comments, please leave them below. We love hearing all of your comments. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye guys. Bye, say bye everybody. <laughs> have a nice day guys. Bye bye. Hi guys, welcome to our. Oh my goodness. <laughs>